Even those steeped in sin will feign holiness when it comes to God. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, today's reading is Isaiah 7, and I encourage you to read that passage. I'm always mildly amused when somebody who does not particularly believe in God makes these grand gestures about their belief. Recently, I've seen politicians who know nothing about God, and indeed, they don't even have a relationship. At least, that I, what I can see. And they attempt to act righteous and bring the shame upon those who do, not have, or do have a relationship. It's incredible to me to see their hypocrisy. Ahaz was the same kind of fella. He really had no relationship with God. And as a matter of fact, his lifestyle made it plain he had no relationship. And yet, when presented by Isaiah to ask anything of God to prove what was to happen, Ahaz uh, feigned a religious argument that he would not test God. And what a joke that was. Here was a person who had no qualms about sinning, but he had plenty of problems when dealing with a relationship with God. We live in the same kind of world. We have religious leaders who act holy and yet are unrighteous. We have political leaders who call on God but really don't believe in him, and we have day-to-day Christians who act as day-to-day heretics. If this seems rather strong, it is. We have to stop being hypocrites. Each one of us fails in our walk with Christ, and yet we try and present ourselves as dynamic Christians, one who are utterly delighted in God through Christ. Our lives don't show it, just our words. We can't escape disaster if we continue to do what we're doing. We need to be strong. We need to be consistent. We need to be righteous. We need to be loving. We need to be examples. We need to walk with Christ. So the question is, when are we going to start doing that? When do we start? Do we start tomorrow or next week, January 1st maybe? Do we need to start now? We need to repent. We need to fall on our knees and ask God to forgive our families and guide us in the way that we should live.